Mackenzie King is still um, over 68 years after his death. Canada's longest serving prime minister, a total of about 21 years. And this was remarkable given the fact that he was uh, a fairly unimpressive person. Like outwardly, definitely he was short and somewhat overweight. He often arrived late to meetings. Uh, he didn't keep his paperwork organized, something that uh, his uh, successor, Louis Saint Laurent, certainly did. And he was so ambiguous in his political statements that uh, many people wondered where he really stood. However, he was able uh, to pick at weaknesses in his opponent's platforms and then use such events as the so-called King Bing scandal <clears throat> in 1926 and of course the ravages of the uh, Great Depression uh, in 1935 uh, to return to power. When he finally retired in 1948, he was able to hand over power to his virtually handpicked successor, Louis Saint Laurent. And he pre uh, compared politics uh, to sailing a ship, and uh, he said that you had to regard the prevailing wind. And then he once pointed uh, to the spire of a distant church. He said, uh, look at that uh, church or that spire. If I try to reach that point directly, I shall drown because it was on the other side of a lake or, or river. But he said that uh, the way to reach that point was to go around, go about, and then eventually he would get there, although at times he would actually seem to be going somewhere else. King was born in December 1874 <clears throat> in Kitchener, Ontario, and he died in July 1950, aged 75, in Chelsea, Quebec. He was educated at the University College of Toronto, then at the um, Osgood Law, Hall Law School, at the University of Chicago without a degree, and finally at the Harvard University. A modernizing technocrat who regarded managerial mediation as essential to an industrial society, he wanted his liberal party to represent liberal corporatism to create social harmony. And under his uh, cabinets, Canada finally enacted some parts of the so-called welfare state. So his uh, terms as prime minister, the first one from December 1921 to June 1926, the second one from September 1926 to August 1930, the third one from <clears throat> October 1935 until his retirement in November 1948. Um, scholars attribute King's long tenure some 21 years as party leader to his wide range of skills that were appropriate to uh, can, uh, Canada's needs. He understood the workings of capital and labor. Keenly sensitive to the nuances of public policy, he was a workaholic, although by no means an organized workaholic, with a shrewd and penetrating intelligence of, and a profound understanding of the Canadian society's complexities. Still back then, it wasn't a requirement that a native English-speaking uh, Canadian prime minister should speak French at least, uh, well enough to uh, use it in his campaign speeches and in, in his parliamentary speeches. Had that been an unofficial requirement, King would certainly not have lasted long as prime minister. But he had shrewdly these Quebec lieutenants, uh, the latest of whom was then, of course, uh, Louis Saint Laurent, his successor as the Canadian prime minister. Cold and tactless in human relations, he had many political allies, but very few close personal friends. And uh, he was somewhat of a mystic. He actually relied on mediums, and he claimed that he had conversations, in quotation marks, with his beloved late mother and the late Prime Minister Wilfrid Laurier, and even with his dead dog. <clears throat> 
that when he uh, one of his dogs died in 1941 he sang hymns um, he even claimed back in 1937 that Adolf Hitler uh, only sought peace however he did tell Hitler that should Hitler fight Britain uh, Canada would fight alongside Britain against Germany. In 1997 the Maclean's Magazine of Canada uh, surveyed scholars, professors and other highly educated people and ranked King first among all of Canada's prime ministers until that time ahead of Sir John A. Macdonald and Sir Wilfrid Laurier. As historian Jack Granatstein notes, the scholars expressed little admiration for King the Man, but offered unbounded admiration for his political skills and attention to Canadian unity. On the other hand, political scientist Ian Stewart in 2007 died, uh, I'm sorry, found that even liberal activists have put, have but a dim memory of him. And in one uh, Canadian's uh, poetic statement he said that truly he will be honored where people or remembered where people honor ambiguity and something else uh, and political longevity was the last one he never uh, said clearly where he stood on controversial issues when he could avoid it while one of his predecessors um, as Prime Minister Mian never hesitated uh, to uh, publicly announce his views on controversial issues. So under his uh, government, for example, the old age pension system was created uh, in Canada. Um, In 1923, the King government passed the Chinese Immigration Act, which banned most Chinese immigrants from Canada. Immigration from most countries was controlled or restricted in some way, but only the Chinese were so completely prohibited from immigrating. This was after various um, federal and ministers and some uh, provincial ministers, especially British Columbian ones, had put pressure on the federal government to discourage Chinese immigration. Uh, stri strides were taken uh, towards uh, comprehensive city uh, planning in Canada during uh, King's governments. There were, however, corruption scandals, for example, the Beau Arnois scandal in Quebec, and then uh, the Canadian Customs Department bootlegging scandal in 1926, which temporarily uh, resulted in his uh, fall from power. Um, the Bal Balfour Declaration of 1926 and the Statute of Westminster in 1931 declared Canada, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand to be equal with Britain. In other words, uh, it uh, virtually declared their independence. King expanded the Department of External Affairs or the Canadian Foreign Ministry to further promote Canada's autonomy from Br uh, Britain. He also extended provincial powers <clears throat> by transferring to the Manitoban, Albertan and Saskatchewan Saskatchewanian governments the ownership of uh, those provinces' crown lands, as well as the subsoil rights. Um, the Federal Home Improvement Plan of 1937 provided subsidized rates of interest on rehabilitation loans to 66,900 homes, while the National Housing Act of 1938 made provision for the building of low-rent housing. Another housing act was later passed in 1944. Its goal was to provide federally guaranteed loans of, or mortgages to individuals who wished to repair or construct dwellings through their own initiative. Um, unfortunately, in June 1939, Canada, along with Cuba and the United States, refused to allow 900 Jewish refugees aboard the passenger ship uh, MS St. Louis to uh, enter the country. If 
they had allowed uh, been allowed to enter and stay there for the duration of the uh, Second World War, which was about to start, they would certainly have survived. I just wonder how many of them died in the Holocaust. Uh, King George the Sixth of Britain, along with his wife, the Queen's consort Elizabeth, visited Canada in 1939. Canada waited for one week in early September 1939 before declaring war on Germany. Uh, then there was uh, the referendum in the spring of 1942 on uh, the conscription crisis um, or, or on the conscription issue where a clear majority of Canadians, but uh, not in Quebec, uh, gave the government a mandate uh, to introduce conscription later should it uh, prove necessary. Over 80% of English Canadians supported uh, the conscription uh, in the plebiscite, or at least of uh, the voters in the English Canadian provinces, but over 70% of the voters in Quebec opposed it. Over 15,000 Canadian conscripts did go to Europe, although only a few hundred saw combat. Uh, French and English conscripts were sent to fight in the Aleutian Islands in 1943, but the Japanese troops had fled before they arrived. Uh, Canadian soldiers sustained heavy losses <clears throat> in the Dieppe raid in France in 1942, in Italy in 1943, and the battle and after the Battle of Normandy in 1944. Finally, in November 1944, the Canadian federal government decided to introduce uh, conscription. Then, sadly, King's government allowed the internment of Japanese Canadians in Western Canada, especially British Columbia, with the pretext that they were potential spies for Japan. Finally, in September 1988, Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, a progressive conservative, apologized for the internment, and the Canadian government announced a compensation package. Throughout his tenure, King uh, did uh, try to increase Canada's autonomy, but wanted to key, keep it inside the British Commonwealth. Um, He lacked a commanding presence or, or oratorical skills. He did not shine on the radio or newsreels, and there was scant charisma. Uh, and his allies were even annoyed by his constant intrigues. And he's not remembered for great major policy innovations as prime minister. Christopher Moore says, King had made parliament will decide his maxim or principle, and he trotted it out whenever he wished to avoid a decision. However, he was keenly sensitive to the public policy's nuances, um, and he worked hard, although uh, he definitely did not keep to the schedule. He never married, but had several close female friends. Uh, and there are some passages in his diaries which have caused certain historians to claim or suggest rather that he regularly had sexual relations with prostitutes. Uh, along with Wilfrid Laurier, he was the only other Canadian Prime Minister to be in office during the reigns of three Canadian monarchs. Uh, in Laurier's case, uh, Queen Victoria, King Edward VII, and uh, King George V. In uh, uh, King's case, uh, King George V, uh, King Edward VIII and King George VI. He was ranked as the greatest Canadian Prime Minister by, by a survey of Canadian historians, and he was named a person of national historic significance in 1968.